The police have identified a man as a person of interest in the case of missing University of the West Indies Mona student Jasmine Dean. Warning! Chiching Chinga represent for ratings. Ratings. The simple things are your blessing. According to the police, investigation have so far revealed that Dean's cell phone was active up until 12.30 a.m. On February 28, the update was provided by Assistant Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey. On Friday, March 17, 2020, about 4 p.m., a 27-year-old security guard of 11 miles, Bull Bay, St. Andrew, and his common-law wife were both interviewed and statements recorded. A silver 2014 Nissan Latio motor car registered 0962JE was processed by forensic crime scene investigators attached to MID scenes of crime unit. A Samsung J3 cell phone was also seized and later submitted to CFCD for analysis. In further to the said investigation, canvases were conducted right across the corporate era, including Papine, downtown Kingston, Ocherius, among other places. Based on information received, other search operations were carried out at several premises in Seaview Gardens, Walton Park Road, and Wind Road, Kingston 5, in search of Miss Dean and her personal items. These searches provide proof futile. Communities where special operations have been conducted by the police include Lindus Road, Seaview Gardens, Jonestown, Bull Bay, Manchester, Greenville, that's Manchester, Walton Park Road, Augustown, Papin, Draxall in St. Anne, Wind Road, East Kingston, Downtown Kingston, Arbor View, and Palisades Street. We have, during our investigation, identified a person of interest in which we are seeking the public support to identify this particular individual. We will be circulating photographs of that individual so that the public will get a chance to see and provide information which is very important to this investigation. What we can say at this time is that Ms. Dean, based on our investigation, we have identified that on the 27th of February 2020, about 10.34 p.m., Miss Dean, based on her cell phone, was in Bull Bay at 12.19 a.m., we can say that we have evidence that there was movement in Arborview. And at 12.35 a.m., that is the 28th, we can say the last time our phone was on or active was at 12.35 p.m. 12.35 a.m., thank you. And that was somewhere downtown Kingston. Since then, we have not been able to um, identify any movement in relation to our phone, no calls, etc., were made. But the photograph that we are going to publish is very important because this person is a person of interest, and there are some other vital information, if I may say, that we have that at this time we cannot release to the media. Um, I don't know if at this time we need to circulate the photograph. And we're asking anyone who may have seen this individual
we can we can we can search it from the building. We can be sure. Right. We'll we'll provide a digital copy of yeah, as well. We have received several prank calls, and I'm going to appeal to the public. These calls were actioned by the police, and it is really, if I may, you know, creating a waste of time when we could have used our resources in a more meaningful way. And I'm going to appeal to the public to avoid, you know, making those prank calls. And you must factor in the family. The family, they are hurting. And I think we need to take into consideration the emotions and the feeling of the family. So I'm appealing to the public. Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Rating Views. Now, if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell for further notification post. Warning! Chiching Chin represent for Ratings. Ratings. The simple things are your blessing.